Welcome to the Texas 391 Course Subjects EC6 Test Prep Course. Covering subject exam number one, English, Language, Arts, and Reading, and presented by Teacher Preps, the most trusted source to help you pass your teacher certification exam. Thank you for being here. Let's get started. In this lesson, you will learn everything you need to know in order to pass competency number two, which is all about word analysis and identification skills. In this section, we will dive into the fundamental principles of phonics, including the sounds of English language and their corresponding symbols, which are called phonemes. In this first section, you will learn how to use a variety of instructional approaches and materials to promote students' phonetic and graphophonemic and morphophonemic knowledge as outlined in the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills for grades four through six. Understanding these principles is crucial for promoting students' phonetic, graphophonemic, and morphophonemic knowledge, which plays a vital role in reading comprehension. Reading this material will help you master the content and excel on your exam. Let's dive into the essential concepts and principles now. Beginning with the understanding of phonetics. Recall that phonetics is the study of speech sounds and their production, transmission, and perception. It involves recognizing and categorizing the sounds of a language, including vowels, consonants, and other variations. Next, we have phonemes, which are the smallest units of sound in a language. Think about the phonemes as the building blocks of words, similar to how individual Lego blocks combine to form one structure. For example, the word cat consists of three phonemes, k, a, and t. Next, we have vowels and consonants. Vowels and consonants are two main categories of speech sounds. Vowels are produced with an open vocal tract, and airflow is unobstructed. They form the nucleus of syllables and provide important information about word pronunciation. Consonants, on the other hand, involve some degree of obstruction in the airflow as they contribute to the unique features of words. Our next text prep section that you'll need to know for your exam is all about sound symbol correspondence. Let's cover that now. The English language has a complex sound symbol correspondence, meaning that certain letters or combinations of letters represent specific sounds. For example, the letter A can represent different sounds in words like cat, gate, and ball. These correspondences are crucial for decoding words accurately and improving reading fluency. Next, we'll talk all about syllables which are units of pronunciation that contain one vowel sound, either alone or with surrounding consonants. Breaking words into syllables helps students with word recognition and pronunciation. For example, the word elephant has three syllables, L, E, font. For your exam, you will also be asked to demonstrate your understanding of graphophonemic knowledge, which is the understanding of the relationship between written letters, called graphemes, and their corresponding sounds, called phonemes. This involves recognizing letter sound patterns, letter combinations, and spelling rules. Developing graphophonemic knowledge helps students decode unfamiliar words, make connections between spelling and pronunciation, and improve overall reading, and spelling skills. Graphophonemic knowledge involves understanding how words structures and morphemes, meaningful units of language, affect pronunciation and spelling. This understanding includes recognizing and applying patterns such as prefixes, suffixes, and root words to enhance vocabulary development, word analysis skills, and also comprehension of complex words. To promote students' phonemic, graphophonemic, 
and morphophonemic knowledge, it's important to use a variety of instructional approaches and materials. These might include phonics instruction, which is providing explicit instruction on letter sound correspondences, decoding strategies, and word analysis skills. Word sorts to engage students in categorizing words based on sound patterns, spelling patterns, or morphological features. Word walls for displaying high frequency words, sight words, or vocabulary words with their corresponding phonetic patterns for reference. Next, we have decodable texts. Now, we use these by using books or passages that contain primarily phonetically regular words to practice decoding skills in context. Multisensory activities to incorporate hands on activities, games, and manipulatives to reinforce phonetic concepts and engage multiple senses in learning. Technology-based tools, such as utilizing interactive software, educational apps, or online resources that provide phonetic exercises, audio support, and practice opportunities. For your exam, you'll want to keep in mind that students have diverse needs, strengths, and interests. Differentiate your instruction to meet the needs of individual learners, and this may involve providing additional support for struggling readers, extending challenges for advanced readers, and incorporating culturally diverse texts to materials in order to create inclusive learning environment. Need to pass your Texas Core Subjects exam? Click the link in the description below to get prepared faster, smarter, Sounds right. better, with everything you need all in one place. So you ace your exam and become a certified teacher with teacherpreps.com.